Hi, I'm The Rap Critic. Let's talk about Nas. Now, Nas is one of the greatest rappers of all time, but um, how can I say this? Well, as human beings, we're all imperfect. And no one in rap music represents a great rapper riddled with lyrical imperfections like Nas. Among his rhyming masterpieces, like, well, like I even have to say it, to distant relatives, Nas gives us great street poetry that, from time to time, is littered with inconsistencies, like incorrect historical references, lines that are off-topic from the verse, and, well, Nostradamus. But when Nas released an album entitled Hip Hop Is Dead, quite a touchy phrase to use when you, indeed, are a rapper yourself, surely Nas brings his A-game to fully describe and encapsulate the foreboding topic he's taken up. And since this is about like 2006, yeah, this is about the time ringtone rap was at its height, so let's see what Nas has to say about hip-hop being dead. Wait, this isn't hip-hop is dead, this is the thief's theme. One, two. Check one, two. Can you use the same sample twice, especially when they're both lead singles from back-to-back -back albums? And isn't this album supposed to be criticizing the fact that hip-hop has grown stale and uncreative? How much you want to bet he recorded this line after the song was finished and someone in the studio pointed out that he already sampled it? Well, Nas has never been all about the beats anyway, it's especially about the lyrics for him. So no doubt we've got a five-star song on his hands. Yeah, crap, I just jinxed it, didn't I? If hip -hop should die before I wake okay, so here's a cool opening line right here, even if it's just the chorus. I like how he takes a traditional children's prayer and twists it into the current topic of the death of hip-hop, as if to say hip-hop is something that goes back to his childhood, something that was a basic part of his life growing up, similar to how one grows up with a certain religion. I put an extended clip inside of my AK. Wait, wait what? Roller every station, murder the DJ. Roller every station, murder the DJ. Oh, wow. So you're gonna go to every station and murder every DJ? <laughs> You're the reason why hip-hop is dying! But our station doesn't play rap music. That's exactly my point! Niggas smoke, laugh, party, and die in the same corner. So, people who go to clubs and hang out get killed sometimes. Uh, I'm sure he'll find a way to tie this back to hip-hop. Words to the wise, with villain state of minds, grinded, hitting Brazilian dimes from behind. This song is about hip-hop being dead, right? What does having sex with Brazilian women have to do with hip-hop being dead? Seriously, is there like some information I don't know? Okay, whatever. He's probably just like some random line and he's gonna get back to the subject. And he said it three times. Is this like an important line? I, what does sex with Brazilian women have to do with the end of hip-hop? Seriously, if someone has any information out there, let me know. Sex with Brazilian women. It, it, it's, it's gotta have some significance to hip-hop being dead, because... Why the hell would you repeat that line three times if it had nothing to do with hip hop? Gave my nigga my right, I could have gave left. Okay, I'm not getting any of what's happening right now. Let, let, let's play the line before that and this. Maybe we'll get some context here. My face once raised promotional Sony trucks. Hundred million in bill and I helped blow them up. Gave my nigga my right, I could have gave left. Oh, so you were once a commercial entity and then you... What, switched political parties? I, I'm not getting what he's saying here. It sounds like it means something, but it's just too vague to figure out. So nigga, who's your top 10? Is it MC Shan? Is it MC Ren? A top 10 list usually requires more than two people. And no disrespect to MC Shan and MC Ren, but would people mostly consider them to be the top 10 rappers of all time? I mean, maybe top 10 rappers with MC in their name, but the, 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 that's a very limiting list. What influenced my rap? Stick ups and killings, kidnappings, project villains, drug villains. You know, you spent a lot of this song talking about yourself. And, and that'd be great if the song was called Look at Me and What's Happening in My Life, but but it's not. It's it, it's called Hip Hop is Dead. Mention it, why don't you? Criticize that, why is that? Cause Nas rap is compared to legitimized crap. No one's ever considered your albums crap. Well, except for Nostradamus. Seriously, you do not need to listen to that album. Cause we love to talk on ass we get in. Most intellectuals will only half listen. Well, I'll be damned. The man's back on topic. Everybody sound the same, commercialize the game, reminiscing when it wasn't all business. Yeah, I bet people miss those old days of hip hop. When absolutely no one respected rap as an art form, people were arrested and shot for playing hip hop shows in parks, and many a rapper was despised and rejected simply because they weren't from one East Coast state. Ah, good times. If it dies, let me get my last swing of vodka. R.I.P. We donate your lungs to a roster. Wait, why would we donate hip hop's metaphorical lungs to some random Jamaican guy? What? 
what the hell is that supposed to mean? I guess because hip hop got its roots from Jamaica, a lot of people would say so. The donating its if hip hop died, they would donate the metaphorical lungs to the. This is a very sloppy metaphor. Went from turntables to MP3s, from V Street to commercials on Mickey D's. Now this is a good line, sort of inadvertently stating that while hip hop has grown with technology, it's also grown with commercial viability. I'm looking over my shoulder. It's about 80 niggas from my hood that showed up. And instead of going more into that, we could just talk about you again. And they came to show love. So loud concert and the doors are closed shut. Hey, that's cool, man. People from your block are still coming through to support your music at concerts. You know, that's great. So let's get back to the... Oh, the, the song's over. Um... So what did this have to do with hip hop being dead now? What did you even have to say about that? Why should we care about what one person has to say if they don't even bother to make an argument for their claim in the lead single to an album of the same name? Now, don't get me wrong, Nas still brings a lot of lyricism and depth and creativity. I, I know, I, I have the album, and in it, he does go into better detail about hip hop's supposed death, but this song in and of itself is plagued with his, well, like I said, imperfections and it really wears down the quality of the song itself. It's a little like that Jay-Z song, Death of Autotune. In fact, it's exactly like Death of Autotune. Both songs are from veteran rappers who criticize the state of rap music and then completely lose track of what they're talking about. Well, overall, I give this song a 2 out of 5, but regardless, I, the song did kick up some dust in the rap game and prompted MCs to open their eyes and take notice of what they were all a part of, so I guess there's that. I'm the rap critic. I analyze the rhymes because no one else does. Hello, I am drinking a clean glass of water. It's a statement that everyone should be able to make. And on this site, challenge.org, if my donation goals are met, 60% of it will go to water.org, an organization that makes sure that people across the world get clean water, which is awesome. And when you donate, you get a chance to vote on what you'd like me to do in regards to my challenge. For example, my first challenge is, which one of my own albums do you want me to review?